Someone wants to get in the show, don't they? Not now. God, never work with animals and children. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm filming this on the Nikon Z30. It's my camera I've been using for the last week or so. Um, I bought it as a backup camera and a vlogging camera and I thought, while this isn't a review, I thought I'd talk about how I found it in the last, last week and share that with you. Now, first things first, why did I upgrade from the Sony ZV-1, um, which produced really lovely video? Um, the main reason is I'm a Nikon user. Uh, I currently use a Nikon Z6 as my go-to camera. So the controls on the Z30 are almost identical. Also, while the Sony gave great colors, um, and it's a nice, it's a nice size, um, and the video quality was stunning. I thought the ergonomics were awful. They were really shit, in fact. Um, I hated them. So I took the plunge and bought the Nikon Z30, which is about 600 quid. Now, that's quite cheap for a body. I'm now using it with the um, 14 to 30 lens. So it's quite a expensive setup for this video. Um, but it's great for just uh, walk about in a small camera bag as well. So first of things first, um, Z30, doesn't have an EVF. Um, when I bought it, it, I didn't think it'd be much of an issue, but I have actually found that I miss an EVF quite substantially, especially in bright light. Uh, some of the videos I shot were a little soft because in the bright light, I couldn't see the focus on the EVF very well. So, uh, on sorry, on the back screen, an EVF, would I, I would have seen it straight away. So an EVF would have been nice, but I also mixed bag because you know, it obviously keeps the camera size down, which is also important to me. So, yeah, I don't know how I feel. Maybe if they do a newer version, something with a removable EVF would be a happy ground for me. Now, I posted a video last week and it showed sample footage from the Z30, um, but I didn't really talk about the quality of the video. I think it speaks for itself. Um, I think the video quality is pretty good for such a small body, cheap body camera. More I can say for that, it does what it... I, I wanted it to do so I'm very happy and obviously I'm shooting this on on the Z30 so you can see the quality in more detail I'm, I'm just shooting this in my temporary studio with some cheap lighting basically um, and looking at the camera I'm at ISO 1250 I also bought this camera to use for photography as a backup camera now I've, I ventured down to Big Bree Beach to play around with it uh, I foolishly didn't check my settings I left them on JPEG, which is on the standard on the camera. Now, the JPEGs are great quality, um, but I feel I couldn't get as much out of them in post as I would normally would. Uh, that's foolish me. Uh, I always do that, but live and learn. But I also then uh, revisited the beach and so shot some in JPEG. Not a lot to say. Great pictures. Uh, happy with them. They're not uh, stunning compositions. Uh, it was just a test, but... I quite like the pictures even still, even though I wasn't planning any form of composition. Now I've marked on the uh, video which ones were the straight JPEGs and which one were the raw, and I've tried to make them look as best I could in uh, Lightroom. For a bit of fun uh, as as well, um, while I tested this, I thought I'd play around with this old boy again, the Helios 44 lens. It's an old Russian uh, lens. It's a manual focus with a M42 thread, I think. Uh, I think it's a, despite its name, I think it's a, f I'm going to say, I think it's a 50 millimeter. Um, I don't think there's any sort of real coating on the lens. Um, and it's, it's, it's a bit clunky. Um, the aperture ring is very tight on my one. Um, but I thought I'd try some video on it, um, as I say. Um, I really like the quality of it, um, or the lack of quality. I love the soft bokeh at the edges. I used it wide open. Um, 
it had a kind of like a diffused effect where you'll see on one of the one of the shots um, almost like a black mist filter but more pronounced so I think this is only suitable for certain subjects it's manual focus so you can do this very easy film yourself um, every time you move you'll be out of focus and you're probably out of focus even when you are in focus if you know what I mean um, but anyway here's some video of hit, uh, this lens So another one of the drawbacks of this camera um, is the lack of IBIS. Um, I know there's a digital stabilisation, I think called active stabilisation, you can activate. Uh, I wasn't too keen on using that because of the crops. Plus it was an opportunity for me to try out the new version of Topaz, which came out around about the same time as this camera. Um, so it's at version 3 something and now I think it's just upgraded to 3.02 it's now got a great feature for stabilization um, which does a great job on stabilizing stabilizing videos uh, this is a shot that I did at Big Bree uh, a few days previous to this shoot I'm talking about now of a surfer walking past I think you probably recognize it in the demo video from a previous video um, it actually looks like I shot this on the tripod um, and I think for Topaz on certain subjects it works really well. I noticed when I tried some other footage, which I haven't posted here, uh, artefacts were introduced if it was very shaky footage. Um, but on certain footage it works really well. One thing I would say, um, it needs the hardware to run. I ran this on a couple of times on my Mac just as a, as a, as a laugh. Um, because it was slow. My Mac is a MacBook Pro uh, 2020, so it doesn't have any form of graphics processor, um, and it was taking around about 50 to 100 seconds per frame. So you can imagine how long stuff was taking, and I found it would crash. So on the office machine, a lot quicker, but if you're gonna use Topaz, you need the hardware to go with it. Overall, Overall, I'm really happy with the Z30. I know I've only been using it for a week. Um, it seems like it's going to be an ideal camera for a travel companion, a uh, vlogging camera. Um, I like the fact I can use all my old glass. Um, the video quality is definitely a step up from the ZV-1. Um, obviously, the ergonomics for me are way better. So that's, there's a lot to like about it. Uh, things are not so keen on is the lack of IBIS and sometimes I would like a EVF. So anyway, rambling video, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll be getting out in the field soon. I wanted to go out today. Um, while my camera gear is weatherproof, I'm not. Um, it's absolutely torrential rain out there. So hopefully next week I'm gonna get out again with the camera into either the beach or the woodland near here. Anyway, that's enough of me. Uh, it wasn't what I planned. I was hoping to get out in the uh, field, either to the woods or the beach, but the weather gods weren't on my side. It's torrential rain out there. While the weather, my camera gear is all weatherproof, um, I'm not, and it's lovely and warm and cosy in here. So anyway, till next time, uh, if you like this video, uh, please like, comment, or subscribe, and see you next time.